Hi, welcome to an exciting course called Actionable Insights. In this chapter, we'll focus on how to master data for strategic decision making. This course transforms data interaction, guiding decisions with strategic narratives for various fields like training, renewable energy, and member engagement. It shifts data analysis from routine tasks to strategic victories. Actionable Insight is like a secret treasure map leading you to smart choices and epic wins. Let us look at the agenda for this chapter. We'll discuss how to avoid common pitfalls, look at some best practices, briefly discuss how to create survey design for impactful data collection and then how to increase survey response rate, touch upon some qualitative and quantitative data and understanding the why for NPS, CSAT, and CES, and finally get into some advanced data analytics. These courses are designed for executive directors, impact managers, monitoring and evaluation team, data and program team. This is your roadmap to a feedback-driven future. You will be able to define a better strategy for your organization and drive a long-term change. Our biggest promise is that you will be able to improve program performance and align with stakeholders faster. Impact managers, monitoring and evaluation leads, and program data will improve and get on a faster track to success using a lean and iterative approach. You can also get a faster adoption of a data-driven culture. This actionable course focuses on best practices that can help you optimize your data-driven journey. You will be on a faster path to success if you shake out some of the common mistakes and learn best practices. This learning can be further amplified with better results when you use SOPAC Sense. Now, let's be real. Dealing with data can sometimes feel like a never-ending maze, right? I mean, who hasn't spent hours sifting through spreadsheets, trying to extract those golden nuggets of insight, only to end up feeling lost and overwhelmed? This segment of the course focuses on the essential skill of accomplishing greater outcomes with fewer resources. We directly address the hurdles of limited budgets and the scarcity of skills, turning these obstacles into drivers of success. See each piece of data as a powerful means to drive you toward both quick wins and lasting achievements. Through our holistic approach, you'll learn how to streamline your data processes, integrating them seamlessly into your daily routine and strategic framework. Let's shift the narrative around data from a daunting task to your most strategic ally. Continue with us as we delve deeper into unlocking the secrets of actionable insights. According to Forrester, 74% of firms say they want to be data-driven, but only a few, 29%, say they can actually connect the data they collect to actions they can take. And guess what? This gap is significant when it comes to social purpose organizations. But don't get discouraged by this. Instead, you should see this as an opportunity to maximize impact and reach your goals faster without perpetual fundraising cycles. So, why would you not do that if you can become data-driven fast, improve programs, and save tremendous costs to achieve your mission? Throughout the course, I will refer to an example of Futrep skills. They focus on improving job skills for the future. Their main activities are creating a training program that aligns with the local tech industry. They upskill or reskill these candidates through skill development courses, both online and in person, to find gainful employment with potential future growth. So what is the secret formula to turn around non-actionable insight to actionable insight? Let us look at the secret sauce. Let us look at the non-actionable metric first. Future upskill might report the average time spent on training modules in their impact report. At first glance, you might think knowing how long people spend on the modules could be useful. But here's the catch. This number doesn't tell you much without context. Are learners spending much time because the content is engaging or because it's confusing? Without more details, it's hard to say what you should do differently. An actionable metric, on the other hand, could be learner skill growth post-training. This is a golden metric because it shows you exactly what you're achieving. By measuring skill levels before and after training, you see clear trends. Are learners improving? Where are they struggling? This information is actionable because it highlights what's working and what's not, allowing you to make targeted improvements to your training programs. To make is easy to remember, we've formed three easy steps to, to help you. First up, ditch the bad habits. This step is crucial. Why? Because such practices are widespread in the industry, and surprisingly, they're often overlooked. In our next video, we'll highlight a few key habits you need to change to boost your results. Next, let's embrace the best practices. We'll give you a quick overview, but stay tuned for our detailed sessions dedicated to these practices.
Lastly, embrace the future using tools like SOPAC Sense to automate data collection and analysis. Numerous organizations face delays in scaling because they fail to involve stakeholders at every stage of their programs. This issue stems from three common pitfalls. One, they are spending too much time developing an impractical impact framework. Or two, they are crafting survey feedback without clear learning objectives. And third, they are not engaging stakeholders in the feedback process. We'll delve deeper into these topics in our next video. So, be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay in the loop. The essence of capturing stakeholder feedback lies in posing impactful questions without overwhelming them with too many inquiries. The focus should remain on understanding the stakeholders' experiences rather than dwelling on any resistance encountered. Genuine stakeholder feedback demands improved alignment across strategy, data gathering, and analytics. Yet, the traditional use of logic models, survey tools, and business intelligence platforms often leads to disjointed experiences. This approach extends the end-to-end -end process to months or even years, typically yielding minimal learning and storytelling opportunities. But what if there was a way to streamline and automate this process? In our future discussions, we'll explore best practices outlined on this screen for accelerating data collection and enabling automated learning. Traditional tools have created limited results for teams for already stretched time with limited data, impact management, and technology skills. The answer is not to spend months with limited, but to use smart and automated impact management tools like SOPAC Sense. This can reduce the time from months to days. All right, we've reached the end of this chapter. We hope this has sparked your interest and motivation to discover a little bit more. Hold on tight, as we're about to dive into one of the most thrilling chapters that could save you countless hours and set you on the road to success. Do you know there is an online solution to help you save a ton of hours doing qualitative data analysis? And you can use it right now. Simply go to sense.sopac.com and get started. Don't forget to like this video if you found this video informative and engaging, and subscribe to our channel for more video like this.